Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is gonna be another Soviet versus Soviet map, and Yellowstone is the name of this map. Construction complete. Um, Unit ready. The lesson of this game is sometimes you don't need a second war factory. And you're gonna see why. Well, at least an example of why. So, I'm gonna get the gems to start off as usual. I wanna, um, try to fill up some of these buildings, but, I mean... I could've put a dog to Andy scout that dog, but I didn't. But, not a big deal to just burn a sentry gun right there. I'm gonna leave it up for a while. So a lot of people sell it as soon as they kill a scout dog, and then... That's why I know a lot of people, they, um... When the miners get droned, they sell the repair depot, or if the... They kill the dog, the scout dog, they just sell the sentry gun, and I mean... I usually leave mine up, and sell it only if I, um, really, really need it, $250. I mean, I think the biggest offense is worth more than 250 to sell it, because you get 50% to sell every structure, including base defenses. So anyway, I actually got a pretty good scout right there, and I realized his war factory is not there. And... And don't make the mistake of thinking this guy's a noob, he, he doesn't have a war factory yet. You know, he definitely has a war factory and, uh, oil. Sometimes they, um, hide a war factory and then you think they're building so slow they're gonna lose, and then you don't try and then you lose. I want one miner for more, he went straight takes, you could tell by the, how quick he got at the tanks without even knowing that he, without actually seeing it. So I'm gonna leave these sentry guns up, I guess, for, for a little while, look, it makes like a freaking wall of defenses. It's really hard for him to pass them, and I mean, since I won one minor from war, I don't have to worry about going broke or having a weaker economy. And this dog, I, I press P, P to, to um, put everything, to make everything come back near my um, tanks right there. And then I had to, um, the dog came running, and I seen it, so I had to actually try to scout that war factory. So, um, and eventually, I'm waiting until I get more tanks than him. Because eventually I should, because he's not really hurting me. So I want to do a split right there, and if he attacks me right now, which I'd be slightly vulnerable, I'm going to take all my tanks back and build base defenses. I'm going to try to kill that, um, the airport so he can't pair drop me. He actually already pair dropped me, but I could hold it off with, a uh, he pair dropped my, um, wharf, I mean my airport. But I actually could, um, hold it off, not too, without too much of a problem. Now I want to, um, Directly select one miner, so, so they um, fire at the same one, and he actually got out of there. So I want to, um, what I want to do is just poke at his um, power plant and just run out of there. And what I did right there was actually effective, because I stopped him from mining for about a minute with three miners. And he's going to stop mining again, but it did, it did you know, it, that was um, really good harassment, actually. Especially when you let the... Um, Allies and that they beam the miners all over the place and screws them up because they don't get a full Ready. scoop and when you're scooping constantly the whole entire time. So he's actually um, sent a split to my um, airport. I didn't actually see it, but I figure I'm just going to try to get in one of his miners again. And I definitely have him out tanked because if he sent a split of three tanks, that means that he has less in his main group. So, And even though that I sent two to kill his miners, I want one miner from Warsaw, so, and he didn't hurt me right away. so. I'm on both from one factory, so I have more tanks. So actually, I got lucky with that um, barrel. He didn't blow up that barrel. And notice how it looks like I should. Um, I have f almost 4,000. Looks like I should build a um, second factory, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna um, because the um, ore is gonna um, whittle down. I'm gonna have to move to MCV, and I don't want to do it right now. I'm too busy fighting him right now. I mean, I could do it. I mean, if I really wanted to. I mean, I'm fast enough to be able to do it, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna like play it safe right now. So then here goes my second wave of tanks right here. Remember one miner from war versus um straight tanks. I had advantage. I wanted to um, loop around the, the um grab to that power plant. Now I'm just basically winning this tank fight. I just have more tanks than him. He's not doing too much. The conscripts really aren't doing not nothing to worry about. So basically, basically he doesn't have much more. See if I would have built a war figure or not, I would have hit zero. Like I would, uh, two thousand, it'd be down to um, fifty, and right now I would have just hit zero. See, I would have just hit zero right there, and if I would have built a radar, I would have be been even lower.